Hey, I guess it would help if I hit the record button, huh? Anyway, hi, hi good morning, everybody. Rob Mazak here. Uh, I, as many of you know, I am a psychic medium, and I do a lot of different modalities within the metaphysical world. And but one of the things I want to talk about this morning, I think, is, is my really go-to modality or type of session that I I like to do with clients especially to uh, help them realize what kind of energy they're they're going to be working with when they work with me and to see also if 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 we're going to match right and so but anyway uh one of the my my favorites is reiki so reiki is uh simply a japanese word that means universal energy or universal light there are a lot of different types of reiki um they're the one that I practice is an older Japanese modality or practice called Asui Reiki. It's kind of a weird name. Anyway, but it, it really is a very, very wonderful way of helping people take their scattered energy within our biofield and <clears throat> re-centralizing that, bringing it back in. Sorry, I got a little cold or allergies going on here. Anyway... But um, it, it is a wonderful uh, modality to use with people. And so a lot of people um, don't quite entirely understand what it is. But really it, it, it's um, hands-on or hands-off healing, but basically using the hands. And, and the idea is that um, Reiki practitioners, Reiki masters, and all the above will basically are channeling the the energy of the universe through us and into the client and and a lot of people kind of have a misunderstanding about how that works and so essentially to do reiki properly you you have to become attuned to the energy now is it impossible or possible to do that to do energy healing without an official attunement sure but even one of the the greatest that's out there uh, has said that, you know, once, once the attunements happen, the effectiveness of it goes up by like 10 times, I believe is what she quoted. Uh, it, it is in a book called Essential Reiki. So it's, uh, it's a good book to, to read and it really opens your eyes. Even, even after I'd been doing Reiki for a while, I read that and I'm like, oh my goodness. So, you know, it does help validate the fact that, um, doing Reiki properly is is important, right? And so you got to be careful with energy and so that you're not, well, quote, to say it uh, best, I guess, do it wrong, right? And in a lot of ways, I don't know that, that, that Reiki is all that hard to do incorrectly once you're attuned. However, recently I um, found a, an, a journal article that actually measured Reiki and looked at all aspects of it to include what happens with the client and the practitioner. And what I find, I found some really, really interesting things. And a lot of people assume that it's the energy of the practitioner that's going across into the client. However, uh, it is not. It's actually uh, using instrumentation and measurement devices, they were actually able to determine that the the practitioner actually got as much healing as and or more than the client did. So the energy really is simply running through us and into the client. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so it, basically, when somebody when somebody says I'm really tired from doing Reiki, then it seems like it's um, perhaps not being done correctly, right? Now, I do get tired from, but that's simply just working with people, you know. And uh, But as far as energy-wise, no, I feel a whole lot better every time I do a Reiki session. And um, so one of the things, one of the other things that this article talked about, I'm going to pull this up there, is really interesting is that the measurements that they took Basically, in the conclusion section of this paper, it says that Reiki can be done wrong, right? And, and that you should really follow your recommendations from your Reiki master. Because if you're not channeling cosmic or universal energy, you may be actually picking up something else. And, and 
for lack of a better word, infusing it into the client. And so uh, intentions are important um, on both sides for the client and for the Reiki master. And uh, it's interesting that science is actually showing the same thing, right? And, and further on in the recommendations or the conclusion, it says that, you know, you should balance your own energy before you're working with a client, which makes sense, right? But, um, and, and like I said, one, one, one thing that I really realized today is that Reiki is not, well, I've known this, I guess, but, uh, it's not necessarily voodoo or hoodoo or magic, right? Uh, it is simply becoming attuned to the proper source of energy, channeling it properly through you into the client and letting that energy do what it needs to do. Right. And there's some intentionality that goes into that different symbols if you want to use them. Right. But the other thing that's interesting is there's a there's a fellow by the name of uh, Dr. I'm pulling this up to Dr. Bruce Lipton, and he is a cellular biologist. Right. He went after trying to understand cells. Right. He wrote a really good book that I suggest that you guys read it is, is really awesome. It's called The Biology of Belief. And basically it <clears throat> he is shown through science that you can affect cells within your body for change simply through belief systems. Well, I mean, it's not as simple always, but you get my point, right? But one of the things that he brings up, uh, and I've heard this from several other people, is that the body is basically a walking um, nuclear plant, if you will, right? And so essentially we have... a quoting from him right we have 50 trillion cells within our body that's a lot dude right and in each cell membrane has the potential of 0 0.07 volts so if you simply multiply that together we are a walking talking 3.5 trillion volt meat suit person right entity whatever you want to say so we we really are able to affect change a lot more than we think right and so uh as you can imagine if you have that much energy to provide to other people uh, imagine what you can do right for this earth for the environment for your client uh, but anyway i just wanted to kind of little tidbits on reiki and uh, i will be talking about it again this weekend uh at the red feather healing metaphysical or holistic fair uh which is on saturday and sunday we open though both days at 11 and uh that is over in universal city 2035 universal boulevard uh that's also where i practice for four days a week and so i do have other things uh that i do but i really really like to have you guys come by and listen to the talk you know and, and see what 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 the store has and and uh, anyway, I just wanted to share a little bit about Reiki and, and hope to see you in future and uh, to experience this modality. It's a lot of fun. Have a great day.